Hello, welcome back. Total OS today is total technology for beginners because we all start somewhere. Well, back in the late 90s, I had purchased my first computer, a Packard Bell with Windows 98. And of course, back then, if you had Windows 98, you would have progressed to Windows 2000, Windows XP, and so on and so forth. Well, guess what? As time went on, we computer users started to realize that computers were quickly becoming malware magnets. You know what I mean. Computer viruses, spyware, trojans, and the list goes on and on and on. And if you didn't know much about computers and did not clean and maintain your computer, you would quickly run into problems. You know what I mean. Computer slows down, freezes up crashes, blue screens, and a force came to worse, you would have to reinstall the entire operating system. Oh, the joy of doing that, right? Well, at around 2005, 2006, I was looking for an alternative. And in a science magazine, I came across something called Ubuntu Linux. Didn't know much about it then, but I tried it out. And I got to tell you, at the time, my first impression was this thing runs really, really fast. But it wasn't quite ready for the masses, really wasn't for families and households. At the time, it just wasn't quite user-friendly, not yet. Well, fast forward to today, and a lot has changed Ubuntu. What you see here has come a long way. It is my favorite Linux desktop of choice, and I boot this, a dual boot this, alongside Windows 7. And I find myself using this more than I do using Windows 7. Now, there's nothing wrong with Windows 7. It runs perfectly fine for me. But it's nice not having to worry about viruses and maintenance and stuff like that. So if you are looking for something different, something as an alternative to what you have now, and maybe even, cons uh, even considering a second computer for your wife, husband, the kids, something upstairs for the bedroom or whatever, you might want to take a look at Ubuntu Linux. I certainly like it. Been using it now pretty steady for about two years. I will have links below in the show notes to take you to Ubuntu.com. And if you are considering purchasing an Ubuntu Linux PC, trust me, once you use something like this and don't have to worry about viruses and spyware, it's kind of tough to go back. But that being said, let me know what you guys think if you tried this out. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.